Hi, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist at Roch in the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And I'm talking to you today about a recent paper published from Israel, and this is on the economics of celiac disease. You know, much is known about the uh, diagnosis of celiac disease, about how many people it affects, but there's not quite so much known about the economics of celiac disease. In particular, what impact the diagnosis of celiac disease has on healthcare costs. This study from Tel Aviv um, examines a large number of patients diagnosed with celiac disease in, their pop in a population covered by the one insurance company and compares it to people who didn't have celiac disease. And they showed that patients with celiac disease tend to have more health care costs and possibly more admissions to hospital than the general population. And they, thought, and they found that they were quite similar in cost to people with diabetes or hypertension. Now, what does this tell us and what do we learn from it? Well, we learned that there are costs associated with celiac disease that affect our healthcare system. Also, uh, other studies, including a study previously from the Mayo Clinic, has shown that after diagnosis, the healthcare costs of patients with celiac disease go down, suggesting that it's important to consider celiac disease, to look for celiac disease, and to treat celiac disease. And not only will it make people feel better, but hopefully also reduce the burden on the healthcare system. Thank you.